just finished Revolution. It put me in the mood. Let's go. Right. Geeks was popping. We've got Mattel Masterverse Collection. We've got Orko and Gwildor for Master Universe Revolutions on Netflix now. I just finished the season. If you're following the series and haven't watched the new season yet, I won't do any spoilers. Season three is pretty good. I don't think it was as good as season two, but I still dig it. Anyway, let's look at the plastic. There are accessories in this little compartment here, so make sure not to throw it away without checking it. All right, accessories. You have Oracle's scarf. You have Gwildor's gun slash super cosmic blaster. I don't know what you call it. Magic effects for Orko. The upgraded version of the power sword, although it's missing a few details if you watch the show. Gwildor's staff and portal effects for Orko. And Orko's base comes with a little notch where you put the portal effects in. There's a little knob on his back that fits the hole for his scarf. We'll stick that on there, and the scarf will be flying in no time. Check out the odd couple. They look good. I gotta say, this is a beautiful action figure. They captured the likeness directly from the cartoon. The colors on the outfit pop. The materials look realistic. The patterns on his coat make it look like a real linen fabric. Pretty awesome. Kudos to Mattel for this. And gorgeous head. You can get a full 360 out of it if you want to. It does tilt left and right, but because of his shoulder pads, it really can't hold either. It does look down. And up. Arms get up here high. Little alien hug range. Wingspan. Single joint elbows don't quite give you 90 degrees. 360 at the shoulder. You work around those shoulder pads. You get 360 at the elbow joint and you get 360 at the wrist. And you do get slight repulsive blast to kiss the ring range at the wrist. No upper torso articulation. His waist does move. You get a little rock forward and back. Not really side to side, but you do get a 360 at the waist. Under here, what we got. He's got really, really loose knee joints. He had 360 at those knees and 360 at the feet. I don't understand why Mattel gives their action figures the ability to go 360 at the ankles, except for the WWE line. WWE still uses those old stems that don't do anything. Very weird. Bend range of the knee, single joint, split. Toe range. All right, I see now I need a ruler. He comes in at about four and a half inches. So in my mind's eye, lo Loki. Orko was just a complete palette swap of the original, but now that I'm looking at him side to side, totally not true. Different shades of blue, different hat, different ears, different arms. And I say arms because his arms here are fully bare and there's no connection piece. So for him to have different hands, they'd have to do the whole thing from scratch. Different stands, and even the eyes look to be a little bit different. I don't know if you can make it out. The original around the eye, the part that we would have as white, seems to be a bit more yellowish goldish, whereas here it's more of like a lemon yellow. Another thing I like that they did is magic effects. They open up on the side so you can just clip them on. No muss, no fuss. So just like the other one, he has an articulated stand. He can swivel, bend, like he's flying. He 
can turn as well. Arms, you can swing them around, get a full 360, and there's bendy wire there so you can pose his arms back and forth and move them. I wouldn't do it too much because they feel kind of slim. And if you don't know me, I don't push my luck. But I think he's a gorgeous figure. That white really pops off on him. So what do I think? Superb. Great set. As usual, the Masterpiece line is killing it. Mattel did a bang up job with this. It's what I like to see. Reuse where it makes sense in the case of Orko. It's not what it's not like what Hasbro does where they reuse everything even if it doesn't make sense. They took what they needed from the old Orko, put enough new to make it worth it. Wildor, phenomenal, beautiful, looks like art. No negatives. But as always, it's not what I think, it's what you think. Sound off in the comments, let me know. Sound off and let your voice be heard. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Share a link with a friend that loves the plastic Masterverse figures like we do. And let's talk about these in the comments. All right, till next time, guys. Geek out.